Hi, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is the Word of the Lord today. The Lord wishes you to learn three lessons from the life of Abraham. The first lesson is obedience. Abraham, when he was called, while he was living in the heathen land, he was called out of the land where he was to go to the land which the Lord had given him. He operated in faith. Faith does not need to know the destination. It just knows that it's on a journey. Faith believes in the will of God. It knows the grace of God. We'll keep it where the will of God takes it. Abraham believed God and it was credited to him and to his count as righteousness. Those who walk by faith take the Lord at his word and will do it in obedience. When Job was in the middle of his trial, he states, Even though God slays me, I will trust him. Trust the Lord and see his goodness. The next lesson we learn from Abraham is the will of God sometimes takes a long time. It is hard to understand in this microwave world where everything is instant. God's timing is not man's timing. Isaiah told his readers that those that wait upon the Lord shall be renewed with strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Lord is the God of the perfect timing. He knows all things and he knows when and where to answer. Trust and faith is all about trusting the Lord and waiting for His perfect timing. Abraham waited 25 years for his promised son. Will you wait for the Lord? Will you be patient as he works all things out for good? The last lesson is Abraham was willing to give up all for the Lord. Abraham was asked to sacrifice his son. He went right to the edge. He even was in the motion of killing Isaac when the Lord stopped him. God is looking for people who will give all to him. Complete surrender is the minimum God requires. So today, learn from Abraham's Example, to be obedient, patient, and give all that you have. And you know what? You will see how the, Abra how the example of Abraham can be lived out in your life. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is the word of the Lord for us today. You have yourself a great and godly day.